Hello everyone, welcome to the 8 of my 100 days challenge. Today we will be solving one of the SQL question asked in Uber Data Analyst interview. So let's see the question. So the question is you are given a table as mentioned below. So we have ID, driver ID, city, trip distance, start time, end time and rating for that trip. Now the question says write an SQL query to find the average trip duration for each driver in each city excluding the trip where the rating is below 3. The result should include a driver ID, city, average trip durations. Now we need to round this result which is average trip durations by 2 decimal. So let's see how we can solve this question. Now I can see I have already created the table and inserted the data. So which is you can see here. So we have ID, driver ID, city, trip distance, start time, end time and the rating for the trip. Now let's read the question one more time to understand it better. So it says write an SQL query to find the average trip duration for each driver. And we need to find out each driver average trip duration for each city. Now we need to exclude the result for the rating which is below 3. If the rating is below 3, we need to exclude that. Now the result should include driver ID, city and the average trip durations. We need to round this result which is average trip durations by 2 decimal. Now there is a note it says the average trip duration is calculated as the average difference between the end time and the start time for each trip. So these are the output what we are expecting driver ID, city and the average trip durations which is in 2 decimal. Let's see the data first. Now you can see we have the IDs here. We have the driver IDs here and we have the city. Now this is the trip distance which is in kilometer. We have start time, end time and the rating. So let's say this is the driver ID 1. Now this driver ID has done two trip in Mumbai you can see here which is one trip this one. And this is the second trip that this driver has done. There is a one more trip that this driver has done in Mumbai. So what you need to find out here is each driver in each city, the average durations. Now to find the average durations, we need to see how many ride this uh, driver has done in that particular city and what is the total durations for each ride that uh, this driver has done. So we need to divide the each durations divided by the total ride right that is what we will do first we need to find out this durations now to find the durations we can minus the end time with the start time so i can give an example here so let's say a trip started at 5 pm okay and it ended at 5 30. so if in case i need to find out the durations so i will minus the end time which is end time of the trip end time end time minus the start time right so this is how i find the time duration for this trip now let's say this driver has done one more trip in the same city let's say that start at 4 15 and uh, that has that ended at uh, 4 30 okay both are in pm so here the duration is going to be now 4 30 minus 4 15 so that's going to be again uh, 30 15 minutes here and uh, 30 minutes here right now if let's say this driver is same and both the trip are done in the same city which is Gurgaon so the total duration is going to be 15 plus 30 so that's going to be 45 divided by the number of uh, ride you can see which is 1 and 2 so this is the average durations for this city for this driver which is going to be how much 22.5 okay so this is something similar we need here okay the data that we have so let's write down our approach to see what are the things we need and how we can solve this question. Now first thing is that we need each driver in each city the average. This is what we need right. So we need each driver which is driver ID what we need and uh, we need in each city okay city and then we need the average duration. So to get the average durations, we can do a group by by the driver ID and this city because the combinations what we want is driver ID and each city and then we want the average durations. Okay, so we need to do a group by here group by by one and two, which is driver ID and city. Now how we will find the average durations now as we know that if you do a group by you can simply use the FVG functions on this column any of the column number column right so we can use the AVG functions to get the average durations now before that we need to find out the difference now we need to find out the time difference here you see I have done some calculations right I have subtracted the end time minus start starting time that is how I got the time durations for that particular trip so we need to do something the same here so what you need to do here is uh, end time 
minus start time so if you do n time minus start time that is going to give us the difference time difference right so this is now you can see average trip duration is calculated as average time difference right we need to find out the time difference between end time and the start time so we will say end time minus start time so that is going to give us the time difference okay now we can do a avg functions on this uh, time difference so that is going to give us the average time durations in each city okay so we will do avg functions which is on this time difference that we will get from this query we only need these things if the rating rating is greater than 3 so we need a rating which is uh, greater than equals to 3 at least okay now this is what we need now here we will also do some conversions to convert this time data into seconds okay because that's only we can find the difference because this is not a normal number okay this is a time timestamp data you can see it's a timestamp data which has the minute hour and seconds including the date so we need to do some conversion here which is called extract functions so let's see let's start writing our query so things that we need here is first we need a driver id next what we need city now then we need average right now before average let's find out the difference the time difference to get the time difference i can simply write this n time which is uh, n time n time minus start time so this is going to give me the time difference now i can show you i can give it a name here as time durations you can see time durations for that a particular ride now if i just run this query it's going to give me the time durations for that particular ride now driver id one done first ride in mumbai that's for 20 minutes you can say now the second ride again 15 minute so delhi to ride by another driver which is 30 and 12 minute okay so you can see the data so we need to do a group by by this column and uh, and this column and then we can do an average on this column now first we need to convert this data into seconds and then we need to again convert that into minutes now to get the actual time difference i need to use extract functions to get the time difference so i need to use the extract functions with epoch functions which is usually used for getting the time difference so what i can write it here is extract and uh, i can write it here epoch which is epoch from so from here it's going to find the difference so if you see if you simply do n time minus start time we can use epoch functions epoch function basically is going to give us the actual time difference so it will convert the time in seconds then it is going to give us the actual time difference so we are saying epoch from n time minus start time and i just need to close the epoch here so epoch is going to be closed here this epoch is going to give me the actual time difference now i can multiply it with a 60 which is going to give me the time difference in minutes so let me show you if i just run it here if i just run it here and uh, let me show you what it is going to do now earlier you, you have seen that the time was something like this right 00 20 30 so this was the time difference now if i just run this query let's see you see now you see this a uh, time difference is uh, converted into minutes so it's a uh, 20 minutes it's a uh, 13 15 minutes 12 minutes 25 minutes 40 minutes okay so you can see the time has converted now into minutes outside this extract we can simply use average functions and we can do a group by by this driver and city because we want to see each driver in each city what is the average duration now to find the average duration you can see the total durations by the number of trips that driver has done in that city so i can use any of the query that's going to be fine so let's say what i can do here average functions on this column and uh, i need to do a group by because if in case i want to see the average so i need to do a group by by this two category column here so i can say group by driver id which is driver id and uh, city so once i do this to group by i will have my answer okay almost the problem is solved now we just need to round the result by two decimal 
so let's see now you can see we have each driver in each city and the time durations right this is the average time durations i can just write it average time durations now what i need to i need to convert this data into two decimals right we can see multiple decimal here so to convert this i can simply use a round functions here i can go ahead and say round and uh, two decimal so that is going to convert this result into two decimal now you can see we have our result which is each driver and the city and the average time durations now you see for this one which is driver one who has done i think three ride in mumbai so the time durations you can see which is average time durations which is 21.67 now now if in case you want to know how we got this average durations it's going to be the total time durations for that particular city by this driver divided by the number of ride this driver has done in that particular city similarly 103 has done hyderabad not sure how many ride but 19 minute is the time durations average time duration for this driver in this city now 103 also has done some ride in bangalore which is you can see 27.67 is the time durations now this one and this one as well also you can see their time durations for each city wherever they have done the ride that's it for this video thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you want to solve the same question you can go to the video descriptions and i have added my github link you can download this data set and you can practice by yourself now if you have a different approach to solve these questions you can share your approach in the comment box thank you so much have a good day take care bye bye